at an exit. The way of pain! Oh, the music! Oh, so good. You know, I saw this movie for the first time when I was like five or six, I think. And I always remembered years later that Isengard theme. Oh, yeah. You know that da 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 dun dun dun. <laughs> Yeah, there's like, a lot of great motifs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've lived rent free in my head for years. It's a really good one, and they've got tons of those great light motifs throughout the soundtrack. Rip them all down. Rip them all down. Destroying nature. I know, obvious, but still something I just want to acknowledge is like the soundtrack reflects like the naturalistic sort of elements with the Shire, and then with the the bad guys, very much clanking metal. Well, yeah, Isengard obviously that, uh, represents that as like an industrial version yeah. of, of well, this and and some of world. it is like them actually using chains. It's got that tin, 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 yeah. tin, tin, before like the brass comes in, and that's like all. Oh. oh, the transition of the music, so awesome! All right, Gandalf, get oh. back in the game, bud. You know, Dead choir, backups. choir just makes everything better. Me. I'm just saying. Uh, Here we go. <laughs> that that shot when he picks it up. Oh, I I love how like soft the the one ring melody here is. Oh, it, look so, at that! Like, look at that! I, I just love so the way nice. the ring looks. You know, it's awesome. so plain, so mundane. It's so plain, exactly. It is a strange fate should suffer so much fear and doubt over so small a thing. Oh, like that release, his... the music is like, we did it. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here into the next incredibly tense scene. <laughs> That's another incredibly difficult question. What is your favorite? It's like, why would I even bother asking that? <laughs> oh, it's the breaking of the fellowship and in dreams. It's just those two paired together are just like they're fucking phenomenal my f it's my favorite lord of the rings music it's from this for the mirror shows many things so there's probably I not think, a wrong answer as far as i'm concerned the there's no answer that i would be like why would you choose that but um yeah for me oh god it's like all of it is it the witch king's theme when it what it plays when he first like the fam and frodo see him in return of the king either way i fucking love it difficult to know because like with rag saying the breaking of the fellowship that's what it's called in like the official soundtrack or the theatrical soundtrack but the extended yes. edition is road goes ever on part one things that were things that are lighting of the beacons yeah again love that music so good and they have extended soundtracks now they came out a few years ago so it's complete and they're huge uh i i got them on vinyl and on cd but they have like colored vinyls. they're packaged together. like books they're so cool. Hard to find now. But. And some things that have not yet come to pass. Uh, easier to ex access now that they're on streaming services. So. Well, yes, yes. You can, I mean, if physical copies, physical copies. Which are getting well, yeah, I, ironically I harder to find. Yeah. It's this scene that always like stuck with me. It was the combination of the Isengard theme and also just the slow mo Urukai like running yep. through the forest. It was years between me seeing this movie for the first time and then like seeing the full trilogy uh in the extended editions. For years I always remembered that one scene. Something about it. Really fucking good. I will draw you, Saruman, as poison is drawn from a wound. The music. Let's Wait, see where this is going. Tight. This is gonna be lit, fam. Dude, 
dude. The music for that part too was rad. Yeah. I, I, I love I love the soft yeah. choir in the background. Yeah. It's just like you know, like they've used that motif multiple times in these movies and It's just like, oh, well, shit, I know exactly what's about to happen. When Boromir was uh, up on the mountains, when he was staring at the ring, they played it as well. Such a little thing. You just they don't... played it when uh, Aragorn was tempted by the ring as well. Definitely part now of this... what makes this sequence disturbing is the music as well. Well, the shift, yeah. Yeah, here it comes. Yeah, and the reverb. Look at him. From the bass on this one, shook. Yeah. I, I'll never forget it shook the theater. It was great. It's like his heartbeat. Yeah. 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 One of my favorite musical moments right here. Oh! <laughs> Oh shit! He just covered everywhere. This is this is like this is pure fantasy in the best way yep. possible. Yep. <laughs> Talk about fucking rule of cool. The Witch King is just like. <laughs> does it get cooler than that? The music. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, no, yeah. fuck. It's so epic. The, the it, music. This is my favorite musical cue in this movie. Remember the Simpsons parody of this? <laughs> There's a Simpsons <laughs> parody just... of this? Yes, yeah, there is. Dude. Look at that. It's so oh, fucking oh. Wow. And the music is so fucking You also, epic. the Witch King has one of the like, coolest masks and everything ever. I like how in Shadow of War they made him look stupid. You hmm. don't like that. You're lying. Yes! <laughs> when you have the music ramp up and then you cut to all of the diegetic sounds of the Smashing. battle. Oh. You know, one thing that I wonder how difficult it must have been is uh, how hard must it have been to cut Howard Shore's score? Yeah. Because, like, you listen to the, uh, the complete recordings and it's like, yeah. how the fuck could you have possibly trimmed any of this? It's insane. Because those things are long. It's it's a huge collection. Well, yeah, the the complete recordings are almost as long as the fucking movies themselves. Uh -huh. They recorded a lot of music. And it's the greatest soundtrack ever made. Rude. Yep.